What's good, YouTube? It is your boy Big Cool coming to you from Colossal Boxing Talk, and I am back with another video. Anybody interested in a Rob Brandt versus Jeff Horn title fight? Anybody? I'll wait. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. Whether we interested interested or not, that is a real possibility. Dan Lonergan, the manager of Jeff Horn, uh, told the Sydney Australian that that is a fight that he is really in, interested in making. Rob Brandt just coming off of a 11-round TKO victory over a guy I cannot pronounce his name, but he was dominant. He whooped that ass from beginning up until the stoppage. Now, Rob Brandt also mentioned fights with Canelo and, you know, the other top middleweights in the world, but we know he's pro he's co-promoted by Top Rank. Top Rank has a, a very good relationship with uh, Jeff Horn's people. Dean Lonergan, you know, they made uh, Jeff Horn versus Manny Pacquiao and Jeff Horn versus Terrence Crawford. So if this fight gets made, it's interesting because Jeff Horn did technically fight his last fight at middleweight at 156 pound catchweight against rival country, uh, fellow countryman, uh, Anthony Mundine, where he knocked his bitch ass out in the first round. But Rob Brand is a different type of fighter. For one, he's much younger than Mundane. He's more athletic. He is technically sound, although he took a bad loss when he went up, um, you know, to 168 in the uh, World Boxing Super Series tournament to an old-ass guy. I forget his name. You know, former champion. Um, hey, if I knew his name, I couldn't even pronounce it anyway. But y'all know what I'm talking about. He looked bad in that fight, totally outclassed. But he pulled off an upset. Uh, when he beat uh, Murata, the former 2012 U.S. Uh, middleweight Olympic gold medalist from Japan. He dominated him so bad that he had Murata questioning whether or not he had the tools to uh, continue fighting and being a elite level fighter. So Rob uh, Brent is a very good fighter. Um, he will pose difficulties, much difficulties for Jeff Horn. But Jeff Horn is a rough, rugged guy who is tough as fuck, man. He one tough motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's not the men's words. It's being straight, straight as a straight line, bro. He's going to rough you up. He's going to try to keep the fight in close quarters. He's going to try to keep, you know, his head in your chest, smothering your offense, ripping body shots, doing what he got to do. You know what I'm saying? He is a, a, a just a rough guy. He's not the most talented guy, but... He is a former world champion. He has a big following in Australia. And, you know, he's confident that he can beat Rob Brandt. This isn't the first middleweight him or his team has mentioned. He also mentioned fights with Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin, saying he want to fight both of those guys. He's interested in fighting any of the top guys between 147 and 160. So he got a taste of that world title Um when he beat Manny Pacquiao back in 2017, and he won another taste of it. He won another shot at glory, and if he get a chance against Rob Brandt, I would favor Brandt, but I think that Jeff Horn would have an excellent opportunity to dethrone um, Rob Brandt and win that WBA middle, um, you know, the WBA regular middleweight title. You know what I'm saying? But we have to wait and see. Uh, like I said, Brandt just fought last uh friday so you know you got to give him time to decompress as well as his promoter you know um top rank you know uh kind of shift focus a little bit on some other fighters until you know rob Brand and his team are ready to come back to the table and discuss future opponents so we have to see but i think that um rob brent versus jeff horn is a good a, a good fight it'll give rob brent uh, a chance to put somebody of of uh, notoriety on his resume, and it'll give Jeff Horn a chance to, you know, become a a, a champion in another weight division. 
albeit it'd be the regular uh, middleweight title instead of the title that Canelo Alvarez has. But if he's to win that fight, that puts him in line for a shot at um at Canelo Alvarez, who is the WBA and WBC middleweight champion, who's going to be taking on um the IBF middleweight champion Daniel Jacobs in the unification bout May 4th. So we shall see how it plays out. If you like this video, hit that like button. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Give me your thoughts on this potential fight. Do you like it, love it, or hate it? And who would you favor going into this potential matchup? Also, if you enjoy the content throughout the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, turn your notifications on so you don't miss um, any time videos are uploaded. Please check out 3kingsboxing.com daily for your latest and greatest updated, unfiltered, and unbiased boxing news and information reported the way it should be. We working constantly, consistently. Head over to Facebook, like Colossal Boxing Talk Facebook page, as well as the 3Kings Boxing Facebook page. Follow 3Kings um, Boxing on Twitter at 3Kings Boxing, on Instagram at 3Kings Boxing. Follow me on Instagram at Colossal underscore Boxing underscore Talk. Follow me on Twitter at Colossal CBT. Shout out to the movement and everybody that is moving with us. Till next time, I am out. Peace.